What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So in this video today, we are actually playing on JP. Now this is not my current account. I have to give a massive shout out to Yuli, who was the person who allowed me to log on to his account to just go ahead and play through this because I want to go ahead and show you guys everything about PvP. Now I've been really interested in this. I think a lot of you guys have been interested in it as well, or you just guys want to know more basically. So in this video today, I'm hoping to answer some questions for you guys and just play through some stuff to understand how how this works now this account is not the most high leveled account ever uh, not everyone is leveled up characters aren't even super evolved or anything so you guys are going to see high level gameplay but it's going to show you the basics of how this works which is what i want to convey to you guys basically uh, i know some other content creators like subconsi asian guy other people nightmare jp have already uploaded videos discussing what pvp is actually like um so i wanted to go ahead and give you my thoughts and opinions on it as well so let's go ahead and jump into it uh, first of all uh just looking at this screen right here so you've got the story mode extra island treasure map kizuna and this is the pirate festival which is pvp PvP. Um, the three dots indicate how many um, times per day you can play against other players. You can only play three times per day, and that refreshes every single day at 4am uh, PST time. I believe it is. Um, and you can use gems to refill that, by the way. So, you know, high-level players are probably going to be refilling that, that stamina very, very often. Um, this refers to preliminary A. So this is going to be lasting for the next nine days. So I think it's going to be available overall for about... It's it's just under two weeks or whatever for the first prelim. Uh, for the first prelim. So nine days, whatever, uh, for prelim A. After this period ends, it's going to go to prelim B. Then it will go to prelim C. And then the finals will happen. So let's go ahead and jump into it and uh, and see what happens. Now, I'm pretty sure that this account has not ever touched PvP before. So this is all brand spanking new. This is exactly what happens as soon as you log into PvP. So we've got Nami introducing us to everything around here. Now, you can see this button right here, which is the one where you used to actually go ahead, log in, play against other players. This is currently not active. So I assume, yeah, we've got some tutorial matches that we'll probably have to go through first. So let's have a look at what we got here. All right, so with this, this introduces tutorial matches. Now, in this corner here, you can see that there is a gem tree. These are like the resource islands I have discussed in previous videos. So you actually unlock each of these by completing these tutorial islands. So this is going to be quite important. So um, we've got like a tutorial battle against Buggy and uh, his, in his pirate crew. So pretty generic, uh, pretty generic enemies that we're going to be facing here. But again, it's going to show you a pretty clear example as to what what you actually have to do here. Um, now we've got the, the the set team that they're going to give to us, which is all of the brand new straw hats that are accessible through Chopper Man mission. So this is cool. Let's go ahead and play it out and uh, and see what happens. So this is going to be my first uh, example of actually playing through PvP for you guys. So let's go ahead and have a look at how this is all going to be playing out. Okay, so now we're on the launch screen here. We can see our combat power. We've got 17,000. Uh, the opponent had 13,000. And so we can see that there are passive skills that will be activated at the start of the fight so every character has a passive skill and i think only characters in the top row will get their passive skills activated first and these characters in the bottom row whenever a character in the top dies this character in the back row will replace that character and then they'll activate their passive so when they become one of the top row characters that are going to be active in the middle of the fight arena that that's when those passives will activate or depending on um, certain conditions like how many timers have gone through so far or how much HP remaining a certain character has that all adds to you know how, how much uh, a passive will be increasing by or when a passive will activate we'll talk about passives and all that a little bit later um, I do remember that if you click in the menu screen there is like a way to check some other things as well which it looks like we can't do right now but all of this is automated by the way everything runs by itself so um, we can also see that this character is about to get their special maxed up this Luffy so he will he, next time he attacks he's going to launch his special ability um, all these characters have a special skill and then the red bar obviously pertains to how much hp they have above the hp bar you can see like a two a one and a one this is relating to stat boosts for the character so you've got hp attack recovery defense and also speed and then above this as well is your buffs and debuffs so we've got a uh, a level one mischance up i think on our side of the field which is not good that would have been a debuff from the enemy that got inflicted sanji just activated his skill there which does a bit of damage and it looks like it buffed his own um stats as well but again, now Zoro is going to be activating his skill here. So Zoro does 0.99 times his attack as damage. That automatically killed that mob character there, which is fantastic. Now we've got Usopp activating his skill, which will go ahead and minus their speed by level 4. So their, their speed is lowered, meaning that they're not going to get their skills up as fast. Chopper provides a healing special, as you guys just saw there. And Luffy should be activating. Here we go. Luffy's going to activate his special, which does 1,000 fixed damage. Okay, pretty stock standard stuff. Now, you can see the countdown timer at the top. It starts at 100, and once that reaches 0, if you have not killed all of the enemies, you will actually lose the fight. Even if you have more um, characters remaining, you need to KO all of their enemies 
by the time that timer reaches zero, otherwise you do lose the fight. So that is uh, that is a pretty big drawback, honestly. So you want to have a team that can deal a pretty substantial amount of damage. But of course, this is the tutorial fight you're supposed to win. There we go. So we did win against the buggy, which is good to see. I actually don't have any of these characters. This is a team that they give to you um, in order to play through it. So now that we've beaten that first one, we access we get access to the um, to the resource island. So resource islands are actually pretty important um, with the new introduction of the pirate festival. So by checking this out. Um, it's probably going to go through some tutorial stuff right here. But there are different islands or different um, resource uh, areas that you can unlock. And each of them basically means that after a certain amount of time, when you click on it, you can receive free items. So free items are always really, really good. Now, this is the first one you unlock, which is the gem tree, which I think, which I think a lot of people are going to be excited about. So with this tree, okay, we get a rainbow gem for the, through the tutorial. You get one free rainbow gem every 96 hours. The thing is, though, is you can reduce the amount of time that it takes for you to get your free rainbow gem. Um, you use it by leveling up with uh, PvP tickets, which you get obviously just by playing pvp and it looks like you get a free upgrade which is fine so we got the dugongs going ahead and upgrading there we go okay whatever um but yeah you use pvp tickets and also depending on your pvp rank that also can determine how how far you can upgrade a certain um resource island so yeah you can see that there's ones for berries as well there's stuff for limit break materials um this is for enhancing cotton candy on your characters uh, and then this one is for stamina and stuff like that so really really interesting stuff but um that's not really the point of this video i want to be talking about the pvp aspects because i've been looking through a bunch of different characters um on game with they have some translations of some characters or they have um information on certain characters that you can have a look at which i've been definitely looking forward to and just understanding how some certain characters can synergize with each other is extremely interesting and i, I like currently this is only out on jp but i'm still currently just looking at what type of teams you could possibly build with the characters that are currently available but um here is the team selection screen so i believe there is actually a button where you can automatically let the team build for you which is this button right here i assume okay so it automatically builds us a team it doesn't look too good so for those who don't know there's actually a specific set of um boosted characters that are boosted throughout this pvp season and it basically just says any free spirit character you use will get um additional hp and then when the time is below 30 seconds you get uh lowered speed as well or like uh, increased speed which is really interesting so you want to be building predominantly with free spirit characters but look they've just built us this random team let's see how it goes in generic pvp play so we've unlocked the next boss right here, which is Arlong, Arlong Pirates. Let's see how we go with a team that we've actually got this time. Now, actually, can I go ahead and uh, rebuild my team, I wonder? I think I can. I think I'm going to go ahead and rebuild my team and see how we go. Okay, so we're going to see how this one goes. So this, uh, because of the Free Spirit characters, they all have uh, additional HP. So I'm going to be running predominantly the Free Spirit characters. Um, I did actually look up the abilities of this Whitebeard um, on stream yesterday when I was uh, streaming for a little bit. This Whitebeard seems very, very good. Now, of course, he's not super evolved, um, or neither is the is the Frankie, neither is the Sabo. These characters all being super evolved, then in, uh, having, you know, max sockets and stuff would definitely increase their, uh, their stats a lot more in PvP. But of course, let's just see how this one goes. Um, so let's go ahead and back out and go ahead and challenge Arlong and see how this team fares. It's going to be very, very interesting. And that's the main thing. Currently on JP, because a lot of players that, you know, we speak to um, are English-speaking uh, players, understanding what characters do what and understanding synergies is very tricky because this is almost like a brand new game inside of Treasure Cruise itself. And because characters have such substantial differences between their abilities in PvP and their abilities in generic play, it is kind of difficult to understand, you know, which ones are the best ones to go ahead and use right now. Um, so with this team right now, we can see that we have level 4 HP for these characters, which is pretty good. Um, not really too much attack boost. An attack boost would definitely be kind of nice here. Unfortunately, um, I'm not really too sure on this account out, uh, any characters are going to help with that there is a speed up button as well so we can let the the battles play through a little faster um i know that frankie's pretty interesting as well he's a defense type character that's another thing as well is that each character has a certain typing so we've got saba who's a support character luffy and ace who's a support character whitebeard is an attacker um we've got a healer with the ivankov and bon clay uh this fortnite elizabella is an attacker and bellamy is also an attacker um from what i've seen so far attackers seem to be like some of the most powerful characters you can bring right now because people are not really um worrying about you know bringing defense type characters or utilizing obstruction where you can apply defense 
debuffs to the enemy side of the field. From what I've seen so far, a lot of people are just running like the highest attack power or like running health cutters and really strong attack power units. Obviously, there are some really uh, decent healers. Like I know Legend Corazon was getting a really, uh, really high rating from a lot of players because he provides some good healing mechanics. And then if, if Corazon's HP is above 70%, he gives a level 10 attack boost to all of your characters, which is pretty substantial. So that's just some ways that you can just utilize some certain characters in order to make your teams a little better. So by beating Arlong, we get access to the Berry Cave, okay? Let's go ahead and peep that. So this is the Berry Cave, and it says every 60 hours we get how much berries? How many berries do we get? Can we even check information? Uh, level 1, 100 berries. <laughs> okay, that's not really too crazy. 100 berries for every 60 hours, that's not really worth it. Um, what do you get at max level? Is that 25,000 berries? That's not that good. Yeah, look, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about all that. The berry cave doesn't seem like a very good thing anyway. Most players don't really have a berry issue anyway. Uh, let's head back to Pirate Festival. Now, while we're here as well, let's go ahead and discuss one other thing. So this uh, pirate flag, when you click this, this is your team creation. So you have an attack team here, which is with the sword. So that is the team that you build, and that's the team that you use to beat other players. Now, there is another option in Team Select. There is a shield. Now, what this shield means is that when you click it, you actually build a team that other players will see. So if another player goes to fight with their team and they see you, the team that they're going to see is this shield team. So you want to build a team that is actually really strong against other players still for your defense team because if your defense team run by the AI, if that beats another player, you actually get rewards for doing that. So you want to build a good attacking team that you're going to play around with as well as building a good defense team as well. So that's something that I really wanted to point out as well. Now this ace character you're seeing right in the middle of the screen, he is a free-to-play character. You actually will get him uh, just by playing PvP against, I think you have to play rival matches in order to unlock him. So once you complete more tutorial matches here, you'll actually gain access to the shop and against uh, rivals as well. And by doing all that, you know, obviously that's where you're going to be getting the majority of your reward. These are just tutorial matches to just give you a little bit of a taste as to what you should be expecting for PvP. So if we have a look here real quick, you can see that the enemy's combat power is 21,000. So that's the cumulative combat power of all characters on the enemy side of the field, where our one is 24,000. Now, yeah, combat power is just a generic score overall. But you can have way less combat power than an enemy and your team is still might, ha might have a chance of performing better than the opposing character. It is all dependent on how your team synergizes with one another. So you really need to understand what a character does and how that can synergize with the other characters. Like, for example, for example, what I mean by that is, is having a look at Strength Akainu right here. So Strength Akainu on this team, let's actually just talk about how to look at a stat screen for PvP because it is substantially different from generic play. So in the corner here, you've got all the stats. You've got HP, attack, recovery, and then defense, and then speed. Um, their overall cost. Now, looking at the cost, you can only have a cost a total of 300. So you are relatively restricted here. You see, I've got a cost of exactly 300 here. Now, there are some characters that might be boosted during an event where they have lowered costs, so you can fit more characters onto your team. But specifically looking at a Kainu, um, let's break down uh, how you look at a PvP stat screen. So the first panel here that you see, um, where it says 1 out of 10 and 36 CT, which in my opinion stands for uh, countdown timer. It might stand for something else. But it's basically like how many ticks of the clock until this special is active. So his skill, um, when you go ahead and max it out, obviously there is a, there is a lowered ability here. But when you max it out... It will go ahead and deal uh, 1,000, I believe that's 1,000 fixed damage to a large range of enemies. Uh, and then it also says that if the countdown timer is 50 seconds or less, he deals 1650 damage instead. And if the countdown timer is 30 seconds or less, he does 2600 damage instead. So basically, the lower the countdown timer, the more damage that this character is going to deal. So this might be a character that you might want to leave in the back row and let, let the countdown timer roll down a little bit and then towards the end of the match once some of your characters might have been knocked out this guy's going to come in and when he launches his special he's going to do more damage because your countdown timer is reduced it's just things like that you really have to think about now as for the secondary panel this is his passive skill or his uh, pirate festival ability this is just your passive skill that will proc upon entering the battlefield or depending on certain conditions so his level 5 support ability or, or, or um combat ability, whatever it's called, will go ahead and increase the attack of your strength characters by level 5. Now, in PvP, this is a new system. There is no, like, attack boost by 4 times, or attack boost by 2.5, or whatever it is. 
it's 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 calculated in levels now at this current point in time we don't understand how much of an increase a level will provide to your characters but just note that if a character increases a certain stat by a high level it's probably going to be a pretty substantial boost right at this point in time we don't know though um so it gives your strength characters a level 5 boost and then also says if the countdown timer is 30 or less he will give your strength characters an additional level 1 attack power so there you go. So level 5 attack power, but then when you're below 30 uh, seconds, an additional 1. So it's a total of 6 attack power to your strength characters. And this is what I'm talking about with Synergy. This is the type of character you would definitely want to bring uh, if you're running a full strength team. Now, a lot of the strength legends in this game are actually very, very good in PvP. Inuarashi, Bullet, V1 Whitebeard, a lot of them are very powerful. So this would be a good character to run with those guys. Um, the, secondary, or the third panel here is the attack pattern. So this is the order of attacks that this character will do. So first of all, the first attack he does is a normal attack the secondary attack he does is another normal attack then he does a stronger normal attack and then he does a full power attack i'm not really too sure the difference i assume it's just a slightly higher damage output um once you do get your special activated though um wh whenever the special is launched it basically replaces whichever one you were about to do in the attack pattern um this one here refers to which characters he targets I i'm not really too sure what this uh, is translated to but certain characters will target like high hp enemies some characters will attack characters that have high attack values some characters will attack other characters that have low hp values it just depends on the character and then the last panel here is the resistances now i can't read this read this one currently but it looks like akainu has a 50 percent chance to nullify or dodge a certain effect and something else by 100 i'm not really too sure what this is so you've got the special ability the passive skill the attack pattern the attack target and then your resistances so that's the way that the pv screen works so let's go ahead and run through with this team once again and uh and see how we go let's see how this team goes against the crocodile or the baroque works team and see how the how, how, how he handles it okay so here we go we're gonna get all of our passive skills activated so let's see what happens here so let's see what the enemy gets so we get uh level two hp level one attack so that's not too great actually that's really not that good um but let's see how we go here okay so Kine is going to be doing some damage. Again, we've got it on two times speed. You can put it on one time speed if you want. One time speed if you actually really want to have a look at things and see how your team performs. And this is another really cool thing, right? Is that these um, tutorial battles, you can actually repeat them, which is great because if you want to test out a team before taking it into PvP against another player, that's going to be really, really nice to do. So we've just seen a skill activate from Ivankov and Von Clay to give us some healing, which is great to see. So we always love that. We've got Whitebeard ready to launch his skill. We've got Frankie to ready to launch his skill. We've got Luffy and Ace to launch his skill. We can see that that uh, Crocodile and Robin lowered our speed as well as de dealt some damage here. We've got Mr. One who will go ahead and it looks like he only targeted Frankie for some reason. So not really too sure why he targeted Frankie specifically, but it looked like he lowered his defense or something. I'm not really too sure what it did. Uh, Luffy and Ace is a buffer there. You can see that we got an attack and a defense boost and he deals damage as well. Uh, Akainu has his special ready to go as well. Akainu is going to do some pretty heavy damage to these guys. Frankie did some, uh, it looks like a health cut as well as a defense boost there, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm just waiting for the other characters to get their skills active. Here's Akainu who's going to do some damage. Only 600 damage, nothing really too great there. Um, we've got Mr. Four and Miss uh, Merry Christmas coming in from the back because you can, uh, can you actually see the PvP screen, the enemy screens? So we got um, uh, we got uh, Whitebeard coming in with his um, what do you call it with his uh, health cut. We got Luffy and Ace coming in again with some regular attacks. We've got we're getting more attack boost now because of the countdown timer going down. Uh, once again, Ivankov and Bonclay coming in with the heals, which is good to see. Our attack value uh, fell a little bit, so we might have had something go wrong there. Not really too sure. Did the enemy debuff us? I can't really tell. Either way, there's only one enemy left, so we're looking pretty solid right now. Akainu's is going to come in and finish it off. Now, it actually, I don't know if you guys saw it right there, but it showed an enemy guard. There is a chance for your characters to guard attacks, and when a character guards an attack, it will basically just reduce the damage that you take. Now, there are other characters that you can bring on your team that can actually increase the chances of you guarding an attack. There's other characters you can bring that can increase the chances of you landing a critical hit. Very, very interesting skills that might synergize with other characters that I've actually had a look at already, like Luffy and Zoro dual unit. They Every time they crit, they give your, your slashes and free spirits level 6 attack, and you can do that twice. So if they land two crits throughout the fight, 
all of your slashes and free spirits get level 12 attack. Just some some kind of synergies, right, that you can you can build around that. It's it's pretty interesting stuff. You get 10 rainbow gems, okay, and now we've unlocked the rival abilities. Okay, now I don't think I'm going to be jumping into a rival battle yet because, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about all that, but uh, we did unlock it. Stuff, obviously, when it comes to global, this is all going to be in English, so it's going to be much easier to read. Okay, so it wants us to jump into a PvP match. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, so there's going to be three enemies to select at the start. Okay, well, okay, these are just generic ones that we can go ahead and fight. So we've got the Straw Hat Pirates here. Um, they've got a really low combat power, so I'm not really too scared. Let's just jump into a PvP match, and I think after this one, we'll probably end the video. Okay, so here we go with a uh, prelim A rival match now against the Straw Hat Pirates. This is probably another, like, botted match, like, just generic tutorial match that we get to play around with here. So, um, let's see how we go against the generic straw hats. It looks like they don't have that many good passive skills. They only had like, what, level 1 speed or something. So, we've got a bunch of uh, attack boost and HP boost. Like, I think we're looking pretty solid here. Um, we're already take out, taking out one of, their, one of their enemies there, which is fine. But you can see all of the normal attacks get activated normally here. And when a character attacks, it goes through their attack pattern. Whether it be like a normal attack, then a normal attack, then a strong attack, and then a full attack. So it goes through all of those motions before you activate a special. Or when your special gets launched, it will replace the next attack power that he was about to do. So just our regular normal attacks are going to be enough here. White Beard coming in with a health cut is kind of irrelevant at this point, but it's fine. We'll take it. We'll take any damage that we can get. Another healing effect from the Evankov and Bon Clay. Remember, in this first prelim effect, uh, you've got your free spirit characters to get additional HP. So that's why uh, I would suggest, it, through, through, during this prelim, I would probably suggest building a free spirit team either way. Uh, Luffy Nace coming in is going to be uh, our buffer. for. I assume it's for free spirit specifically with an attack and a defense boost, which is pretty cool. And uh, that attack and defense boost, I assume, is only for a certain amount of time and you can see in the bottom corner here we do have a crit boost a level two crit boost you can see in the corner which is pretty interesting as well so there we go uh that, that was a pretty simple fight nothing really too crazy uh and we do get a plus one which is i think that's our win streak so like a plus one win streak so now we're up to just a one win streak overall now these items are interesting these are new materials that you can use to level up the um special abilities and the pirate festival abilities of characters so that's really nice that they give you some of them for free we got some more of them, which is dope. And there we go. So that's uh, that's just a basic rundown of what you should be expecting heading into PvP. Now, we didn't get into all of the nitty-gritty aspects in terms of uh, team building because, you know, we didn't have a lot of characters available to us here. But you can understand how this kind of works, right? You can understand that... Certain characters will only buff certain classes or only buff certain colors, which is going to be very integral in building better teams in the future. Now, as I said, this is only a couple of days old, so people haven't really figured out who are the best characters overall. But just know that when this eventually comes to global, you should be expecting likely a PvP tier list of some kind. We're going to discuss some of the better characters you can be using. And it goes without saying that the Sugo Fest exclusive characters are definitely some of the best ones in the game, so you should definitely look out for those ones. But um, I guess that's kind of it in terms of the generic stuff to go over. There are plenty of other things that we can go over in PvP, but I just wanted to go through the team building aspect and how the gameplay actually works. So hopefully you guys understand a little bit as to what's going on here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, mass massive shout out to Yuli for letting me borrow his uh, Japan account just to show this off to you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.